Welcome to day 3 of the 21 days prayer breakthrough here at Saddle Breakthroughs. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, when you come across this video, please take a moment and join with me. And together, let us pray for the President of our nations today. We are quoting God's word for today's prayer from the book of Isaiah 54:17, which says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Let us pray. Great are you, Lord, for you are faithful to your words. Today, as members of your body, the Church, we humble our hearts to pray for every president of all your nations, those nations who call upon you and have put their faith on you. We call claiming your word from the book of Romans, when you promise to work all things out for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose. These days, we know that things are not easy for our president. We are not certain of the extent of the battle he is now facing. But we thank you for nothing is hidden from your sight. And having appointed him for that position, we know that you are certain to protect him and that you are determined to accomplish the purpose for which you have prepared for him to do. We know that the weight of the responsibility placed on our president's shoulder is not ordinary. But it is a responsibility prepared only for those you have chosen for a kingly purpose. So, Lord, as citizens of this nation, and as children obeying your word, we pray for you to please let no weapon formed against him prosper. We ask of you to please defend our president on behalf of all your children who are believing and are loving you in this country. Please defend them against the enemy's onslaughts and obliterate the attacks against what you purpose him to do. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, May the Holy Spirit raise up a battle standard against him. Yes, Lord, for today, unseen forces of the enemy is lurking in our country, coming upon him like a flood. So right now, Father, please lift up your battle standard against the enemy and not allow the enemy to pass through your protection against your appointed one, our president. We also know that you are in control of everything. Therefore, we ask that you please help him walk in integrity and uprightness no matter what. Thank you, Lord, for every tongue that rises against him in judgment. You shall condemn, because it is you who have willed for him to administer this nation. Please, Lord, fight also against every accusation or any evil plans against his life or against his plan for the good of this nation. Also, please expose every lie that come against him as the lie that it is. Please make the truth be made known to all instead, and make him stand right before you and make that obvious to all people. Yes, just like any of us, he is also not perfect. He has his own struggles with sin, and so we pray that at your appointed time, Lord, allow him to look into the righteousness of your Son, Jesus Christ, and finally put his faith on him, and so vindicate him for your glory. For we know that it is the enemy, the devil, who have schemed for all of us to sin. Finally, please gift him with your wisdom, so he can have the right decisions and plans to govern this nation rightfully. Give him also the right people and right advisors, those who fear you and have truthful discernment, so that in all things, only your good purpose will be accomplished for our nation. Yes, Lord, this is our prayer today. And we thank you for everything. We lift this request through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.